Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. This is Austin. Welcome world. I'm Ewan Spence. This is TechZool. We're here at the Indiegogo Tech Cafe, bringing the best and the brightest tech minds at South by Southwest to you around the world. TechZulu.com and all the various hashtags and social media interaction that you will find around on the website. South by Southwest. My children always ask me, why do you come out to South by Southwest? Why can't you just talk to them on FaceTime or anything? And they do have a point. Digital interactions, how people talk to each other, how people connect online is one of the great joys of the internet over the last couple of years. We're still trying to find out the best ways of doing it and staying human and still having all the power of the web as well. One person who thinks he has that answer joins us now, Alan Romero. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. From Hang Local, tell us about Hang Local. So Hang Local is an app that lets you pull out your phone and see which of your buddies are available to hang okay. out. So the goal really is to get us spending less time online and more time offline. So I appreciate you having me here in the Indiegogo Hangout Zone because this is what it's all about. As humans, we have an innate desire to connect and be with each other, but what's happening right now in the modern age is we're spending too much time, I'm convinced we're spending too much time with our cell phones, digital interactions. While it's all good and it's all great, I think that what we need to be doing is spending more time with each other. So this is the way to start that interaction online and then he it off. Yeah, so what's happening today in modern society is that we're really busy. Everybody's really busy, everybody's over stressed with work and time, and uh, it becomes also ultimately a human scheduling issue, trying to figure out who of your friends are available to actually meet up mm -hmm. for dinner, for lunch, uh, for drinks, for breakfast, for coffee, for a run, for yoga, um, just to really connect and go do something with. So the service is running now. The service is kind live. of. No, yeah, <laughs> Bits the, of it running now. Yeah, no, the service is actually live on the mobile web at hanglocal.us. And, um, and so the service is actually live at hanglocal.us. Uh, you can go and download it. You can go and install. Uh, you don't actually in, have to install anything. You can log on through Facebook. There'll be a um, iOS version being released within the next four weeks. So you're starting off with the HTML5 approach in the web browser. So there's got the yeah, widest range the of adoption. Yeah, the interesting thing is actually, you know, for several years ago at South by Southwest Interactive, everybody was pushing the HTML5 um, route. And uh, I am a big proponent of the future of the mobile web. The reality is we're just not there yet. Um, consumers are, just, are trained to download uh, iOS apps, and there's enough friction to get a consumer app started mm -hmm. that you kind of have to you know, you have to play within those constraints a little bit. So why did you go f for the web solution first and the app a couple so of weeks later? Everything's actually been bootstrapped 100% by myself and, oh, high five. and developed by myself. So um, developing across multiple platforms is, uh, when you're changing things rapidly, is just, it's time consuming. So it's, um, you can only do so much building one day. That's so the bottom line. Let's, let's go back a couple of steps. Tell us about yourself. What's, what's your background? What's brought you to the point where you're going to go American sure. Dream Startup? So yeah, my background is actually after college, I moved to California to start uh, a social network for families um, back in 1999. Um, my brother and I believed that uh, as the internet was getting online, that people would want to connect with families. So we yep. were focused on that. Um, so I've had the dream to be an entrepreneur for a long time. That first one uh, didn't work out quite uh, the way we wanted it to. I ended up at Google for six years. Uh, then be um, because because of the company, or you moved to Google as an employee. I moved to Google as an employee uh, after the startup was the first startup was unsuccessful, and um, just returning back to my startup yep. ways. So let's say that first startup. Um, this is the family social network. Yeah. Yes. What did you learn? Uh, I learned that um, I learned that it's difficult to be in business with family, and uh, on a family social network. Um, you know, it's and it's difficult. You know, a startup's a lot of work. You know, mm -hmm. so when I got into when I got started with what I'm doing, I knew that it wasn't going to be a six month or a one year or a two year journey. Yeah. I mean, this is if you're serious about what you're doing, you're passionate about technology mm -hmm. and consumer technology. And I've been in the business for, I've been in the industry for 14 years now. Yeah. So in California tech. So I care that's about- That's a lifetime. That's kind of a lifetime. Uh, I care about this. And um, I see that now, again, as technology leaders, I think that what's happening is, it's our responsibility to design and build software that helps make, helps preserve, um, our needs as a is a human and those needs again are to be with each other so i think that it's 
kind of more critical, it's just as critical now and important now to be building software that, again, keeps us social and keeps us with each other because it's, it's just not healthy to spend too much time behind the screen. So you do have the behemoths out there. You have Google+, Plus. you have Facebook is going to obviously sort of loom large over all of this. Why can't people just do a great big IM chat with all their friends? What makes your solution and Han Local stand out against the, you know, the sort of multidisciplinary Facebook? Yeah, I mean, I think that, again, anytime you're making a digital connection, it's lacking, right? So you always wish that you were hanging out with your friend. So it's nice that we can have the Google Plus Hangout or we can have the Facebook chat, but you're always, there's always something missing. I mean, I, I don't know one person that would say, I'd rather, you know, assuming they're talking to somebody they want to talk to, I'm not, I don't know any person that's like, I'd rather tweet, you know, from the other, from across the hall as opposed to give you a hug. I mean, there's really the human connection trumps all. So I think that that's, that's the thing that I'm focused on. And I'm focused on deepening these relationships. So I'm convinced that basically over the last several years, A, the word friend has been devalued uh, due, to the, due to Facebook. So what's happening is we're calling everybody our friend, but if they don't email you, they don't call you, they don't text you, that person's not, you know, they don't respond to your text, that person's not your friend. Now, what's happened is people have connected at conferences, uh, people have connected at parties, and they've become Facebook friends, but they're not really, they're, again, they're not really friends. How do you make friends? What do you have to do? You have to, sp you have to put in the effort, you have to put in the time, hanging out, seeing that person, going and getting drinks with that person, going and getting a burger with that person, going for a run. Um, you gotta build the friendship. Part of building a friendship, the older you get, it becomes hard because you got a job, maybe you got kids, uh, girlfriend, wife, all of the above. And uh, figuring out when those moments of availability mm -hmm. in modern life is challenging. So that's kind of the point of everything I'm doing that's different than a lot of yeah. the other stuff is, A, it's focused on the people you already know right now, and B, it's focused on that clear intent, I'm available, and I'm sharing this with these people in case they're available too. Now, one final question. Um, you bootstrap yourself, single, still one-man operation? Are you I'm still a one-man operation, yeah. How do you get to scale? There's so much talk nowadays that to get the big social networks, you need a million users. It's almost like a the sort of small bind just to start playing. How do you scale so fast as one person with limited resources? Yeah, I mean, I think you've got to build... Uh, well, I've been working on this for several years, so it's, you know with one person with limited resources, it's not so fast. So this, I can't do this in a month. You know, you have to build things on top of each other. The other thing is uh, focus on um, the specific parts of what I'm working on. So, you know, I'm, I'm working specifically so you can pull out your phone and see who's available in your existing, fr of your existing Facebook yep. friends you want to hang out with. So just kind of focusing on that piece. Um, then the back, the back end is all designed to, to scale, but as I get that piece working, things will, things, as I get, as I tune that piece stronger, yep. things will scale themselves, if is, that makes sense. Is the sense. intention to take on funding at some point to ramp that up? Yeah, there's no doubt, there's no doubt. Um, the intention is to take on funding, although in the consumer space, uh, you know, it's challenging, um, getting traction is challenging, so that's the one thing that, uh, you know, I'm working on right now. Cool, so once more, we are hanglocal.us. Hanglocal.us, go ahead and log on and uh, send me feedback at alan at hanglocal.us. Alan, it's been great to have your time. Yeah, Thanks for coming along here Thank to the so much. Indiegogo yeah, Tech yeah, Cafe. Tech Zula it's going to be me. not a problem. There's going to be more from Tech Zulu coming up, more startups, more stories, more adventures here in Austin at South by Southwest. Stay, stay tuned. You URL. We don't have another phrase yet, do we? It's just like stay at the web URL you're at uh, just now. Check stay it. tuned. Stay tuned. You know what I mean. Yeah, we'll hey. be back in a couple of minutes. <laughs>